Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews, doing a mystery beer, a Christmas mystery beer, although I doubt the beer itself is a Christmas beer. Uh, Curse you guys at NerdSense. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys check those guys out. I think I used my guys' uh, quota, quota for the uh, beer review. Um, I, I think I rushed through the last one a little bit, and um, I, I got to kind of take my time with these and really, really make sure I'm getting the notes I think I am, and just, you know, not... I don't know, not be so conscientious of time. I try to keep my reviews under five minutes for no good reason. But um, I will say this, I was hoping that this was a, a stout, kind of in the mood for a stout, and it's pretty dark. So I'm thinking it might be a stout. Now as I'm pouring, I can see through it decently. So that might be a clue about how high the ABV might be. If you're new to Mystery Beers, uh, Matt from Massive Beer Review. Um, um, does them every Monday. They're awesome. They're so much fun to watch. And I see some alcohol lakes. So I'm assuming it's going to be a little higher ABV. But anyway, and uh, then he did a mystery beer at Forward. He sent three of us uh, beer tubers uh, some mystery beers. And then you're supposed to beer at Forward. And now you see a lot of people doing mystery beers. It's really awesome. Matt loves it. He's not like um, uh, possessive about it. He's, he's He just posted something recently about how he really likes that's starting to take off. And more and more people are doing it. So uh, I'm going to try to guess the style. Uh, ABV, if I can. ABV has been killing me. I've not been doing well with ABV. Uh, if there's any adjuncts in it, uh, if I think I know what beer it is. Um, you know, being these guys, it's a 16-ounce can. It's a stout. They've been sending me a lot of Trillium stuff. Um, so maybe I'll assume it's Trillium for now. <laughs> uh, there's probably a little over a finger ahead. It is pretty black. And again, I'm seeing uh, some alcohol legs. So I'm going to assume this is a, a higher ABV. Uh, beer, just from the look, I'm going to say it's a stout at this point. Let's get into the aroma. I think I'm getting a barrel. But now I'm trying to think of barrel-aged stouts that come in 6-ounce cans. So I'm definitely getting some alcohol. Um, I'm getting... Uh, the roasty, like, big Russian kind of stout vibes for sure. But then I am getting, like, this vanilla, this alcohol. Um, it smells a little bit like bourbon. I think one of the things, and this is a cop-out, but I'll say it anyway. I think one of the things that's screwing me up is um, I've been doing so many big stouts, um, big barley wines, things like that. And it, it's thrown up my palate if I do these, like, lighter things. I think this is a bourbon barrel aged stout based on the aroma. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Yeah. And I think there's an adjunct in it. Definitely get a spirit. Get a little bit of alcohol, like just actual alcohol taste. A little bit of spirit. What is that? I think there's an adjunct. I just I'm having a hard time picking it out. Um, you do get some roast for sure. There's a like dark fruit berry element. You get some like raspberry in there, but I don't think that's like an adjunct in it. Cocoa powder. There is a lot of, I mean, it has a good level of like coffee with the roast. Maybe it has a little coffee in it. Eleven to twelve percent ABV. So this is what kind of happens. I want to know what it is. So I just want to rip it open and see. Um, but I, I'm trying to pull through it, work through it, not pull through it. Yeah, I think it's bourbon or whiskey. I don't think it's like a, a rum or something. Oh. There's a little bit of an apple. T no way this is apple brandy. I definitely barrel aged. I'm leaning bourbon whiskey. 
It's a little bit of a nutty element, but I don't think it has a night thing. Um, I don't get huge. Oh, I don't get huge vanilla. But because the out, yeah. All right, so I say 11 to 12% ABV. There's a decent level of chocolate, so maybe some cacao nibs or something. Definitely a barrel. So we get some of that like wood characteristic with the alcohol. Um, I don't think it has peanut butter or something like that. Even it has a little bit of like a, a slight nut earth quality. Let's see. I do a good enough job of saying what I think is in it. Ah, it's, I should have, all right, so it's not, really, it's night shift. Baltic Porter aged in burn barrels. That taste, okay, so I've done a few Baltic Porters um, the last couple of months, and that's what that taste is, They're, that I'm having a hard time explaining, because it's familiar, now the thing about it, I've had, yeah, this same thing, I can't remember what beer it was. Where I was like, oh, this is a stout, and there's a Baltic porter, and there's this flavor. Or that was in my mouth. Aged in bourbon barrels. It's a heavy ABV. Oh, I should have said this before. It's a good beer. It was canned. Oh, it's 13%. So, again, this ABV I haven't been doing very well on. So yeah, Baltic Port is 13%. So like how wet were these bourbon barrels? And also how big of a you know bourbon or how big of a Baltic Port they brew. Uh, but of course, like the, the Jack's Abbey stuff I did. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is pretty darn fresh. This is like three weeks. Yeah, it's like three weeks old. Oh, uh, Elevensies is the name of it. Elevensies. It's cool. I like that. Has like an old map behind it. It's really good. Yeah, this is a good beer. Really what man? Thirteen percent. Oh, it's freezing. Don't. Oh, yeah, that was annoying. The camera froze. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, good beer. I didn't catch when it started freezing, so I'll try not to edit up too much uh, if I say anything important. But um, yeah, so do I feel pretty good about it? Yeah, I do. Uh, I knew uh, barrel aged. Uh, I was pretty sure it was bourbon or whiskey. Uh, obviously, a stout. I was pretty close on the ABV for at least how far off I've been. And in terms of an adjunct, I think there might be an adjunct. It's it's that Baltic Porter taste. I'll have to look up other people's description of the style because I, I, I'm really having a hard time putting into words that taste I get from this. And it's interesting like how that is different than a big Russian stout. The mouthfeel is a little lighter than I would think a big Russian stout would be. Hence a porter, right? But then there's this other flavor. But yeah, really good beer. Thanks for setting it. Cool beer to try for sure. Would have tried it if you didn't send it. I don't get this around me. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Seriously, check out the Nerd Sense guys. They're awesome dudes. And uh, check me out on Instagram on Tapped. No hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe. And most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.